Minecraft, 90% bug free, but that other 10%, oh my goodness, we saw that in the last episode. Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgon111, and welcome back to Minecraft Exploration and Tactics. Last time the game crashed, and I couldn't reopen the world in Minecraft, and so I've been inspecting some of the game files just to understand what happened. It seems like all that's wrong is that the level.dat got deleted. Uh, but I figured this would be a good opportunity to just kind of look at our world. So I've mapped it out in Cartograph G. And yeah, let's just kind of quickly go through and see all the world that we've already explored. So here's our home base. Uh, there's my little house that still doesn't have a roof. Uh, there's the monument kind of right in the center of the screen over there. Here's the sky rail, which now looks awesome uh, out on the map and goes way out over here, which is pretty cool, out towards the ocean. And let's see, from kind of earlier in the series, I had traveled a bit to the north until I reached some high mountains kind of up at the top over here. And we'd gone to the south, over to the ocean, over into this corner uh, that's kind of in the center here, back when the world border was there. And the stronghold is right over here with these torches somewhere. And let's see. There was one other interesting bit around here. Oh, here is the... The Wither Arena, where I fought the Wither, and you can see where he exploded one corner when he first like came into form. And down here is the village that we found that I lit up. And that was kind of all the world that we had explored until recently. Oh, that's not true, because there was also this one little lone patch. This is when we went into the Nether and found the the uh, what do you call the fortress and then made another portal there after the world border had expanded. Uh, it's another portal took us out here and we ended up finding a jungle and a mega taiga. And so we explored a tiny bit of the world that was kind of like right out here. But then in the previous episode, we ended up uh, going out this way and you could see where I was originally kind of like burning things down and we went out to the west and we went really far. And eventually I ended up hitting an ocean over here and so we ended up getting off our horse and sailing on the ocean and I saw some tiny little islands and then we found the mushroom biome. And so I found the mushroom biome and then sailed back and then was trying to go kind of north and south and so did a little bit north over here but there was a lot of water and so I was going to the south and that's where I was talking to you guys when the game crashed. And so that's kind of the exploration of our whole world. Oh yeah, two episodes ago we also did some ocean exploring and kind of went down here. Uh, but didn't find anything particularly useful. So now we're in Minecraft. Blue Warrior shot the food. Is that a gauntlet reference? And previously, when I went into Minecraft, Exploration and Tactics Season 7 didn't show up in the World Select screen. And so I was taking a look at the files, and it turned out that my level.dat was missing. And so fortunately, I save backups of the world after each episode. Um, I've been doing that for a long time. And so I've used a backup of level.dat and put it in the files of the new world that we just saw that was explored and had the mushroom biome stuff. So I think I know what's going to happen. I think I will be back at the location that I was at the beginning of the previous episode, but without my updated inventory and different things. Yeah. And so last time we were here, we had a horse over here uh, and a bed and different things. Right. And now I don't have those things. I did take a look in that world that we had explored. Uh, and my horse is not there. And so I think the best thing to do is to just kind of cheat in some stuff. Because I don't like being out here without a horse when my horse uh, was kind of taken from me. And so what am I going to do? My plan is to do this. Basically, I am going to summon an entity horse. There we go. He won't be the same horse that I had, uh, but he will be a horse. <laughs> and of course, he just ran immediately right into my items so that I could pick up all of the trash that I was just trying to dump. Uh, and so I need to tame this horse. And then I'm also going to get a saddle and some diamond armor. Uh, and then we'll use this horse instead of our old horse. Uh, and I'm glad I didn't name the old horse because I've seen various animals and pets disappear or kill themselves in Minecraft in different ways. Uh, but this is a new one for me. There we go. The horse loves me. Great. And so then I will say, give me a saddle 
There we go. And I will say give me, and I think it's called like diamond horse armor. Diamond toe, diamond helmet, diamond horse armor. Great. And finally, we had explored in the mushroom biome and I had gotten some mycelium. And so I'm going to give myself some mycelium. One piece, I guess, will be sufficient because I can always grow more of it. And then apart from that, we're kind of in a different location uh, than we were at the end of the previous episode. But apart from that, I think we're mostly recovered. Uh, and so what I'm going to do, I think everything should work again at this point. I'm going to go ahead and save another backup copy of this world right now, just kind of the state that things are in now. And we will try to progress forward with this episode. So I'll see you guys in a moment. One other thing I just realized that's not in my inventory is a bed. And so I am going to give myself a bed because that was originally on the ground. Didn't have it in my inventory when I had my previous backup copy. All right. And at this point, I think we will move forward. I guess I have more cobblestone than I would have had, but oh well. I've also got a horse who has 11 hearts instead of 9 hearts now. <laughs> so that's the cheaty penalty that I get for having to deal with the game crash. I... For better or for worse, I wanted to try to see if I could explore to the north, possibly, although it seems like there's still some water along here. We'll see if there's a way to kind of go to the north at some point. I want to try going north-south now, since we've gone kind of as far west as we could before reaching a big ocean. I have had very good backup uh, practices, I guess, for a while. I think I've told this story, but probably not in a long time. Uh, very first... Exploration and Tactics, very first YouTube video I ever made three and a half years ago. Exploration and Tactics number one and two. Uh, that was actually the second time I was trying recording videos for YouTube. Uh, this was back in the days of Minecraft Beta 1.2. And it looks like there's some extreme hills over there. And it looks like I can probably travel to the north right now. This is north, right? Yes. And yeah, Beta 1.2 was... Probably not as stable uh, as Minecraft is today. Not that Minecraft is incredibly stable or reliable. Even today, uh, $2.5 billion and dollars and three years later. Um, and so I started recording some episodes, and I figured it was my first time recording for YouTube, and there were all kinds of things that I might screw up. So I decided I was going to record at least three episodes before I started uploading anything to YouTube. And so I'd started a world, and I recorded a couple of episodes, and I went to record my third episode, and my world save was no longer openable. Something had crashed, and something had gone wrong, and I couldn't open that world save anymore. And I was like, well, darn. But at the same time, I was like, well, at least I didn't upload two episodes to YouTube, and then like have to start over. And so I basically just started over after that. All right, yeah, definitely big ocean here, so we'll continue heading to the east and then see if we can turn to the north a little bit farther along. And it looks like we have some very shallow water right here where I can just kind of walk across with the horse without having to build a bridge. And so that happened to me, and so that kind of like started my practice of keeping backups uh, after each episode. And then a little while later, probably a month or two later, I got about... 30 episodes into Exploration and Tactics. I feel like it was somewhere... I'd have to go back. You can take a look on my channel, like in old playlists, or go back to the very oldest videos. I think it was around episode like 34 to 36 or something. Uh, I had about three episodes worth of progress uh, that then was lost uh, because, yeah, again, there was something with the bad world save or something, and so I had to restore from a backup and had lost a little progress. I'd done some caving near my base uh, and found some diamonds and things that I think... Actually, I'm not sure that I found any diamonds. I think it was mostly kind of shallow caving that I was doing. I can, I can actually... It's funny, like, I have a really... I think I have a really good uh, memory for three-dimensional spaces, and so I can still even remember, like, the cave systems that I was in back then uh, in my first world three and a half years ago and, like, what I'd explored. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure there was, like, a skeleton dungeon that I found over there, too. In any case, and so I lost progress then, and so that really kind of solidified it for me that I needed to be making kind of constant backups in any worlds that I was going to be playing. And yeah, we're going to try to go around this lake and go over there. And so since then, 
Like in this series, I just have like backup after episode 12, backup after episode 13, backup after episode 14. And so after I record an episode, I just have a folder that I copy, uh, copy copies of the world into as my backups. And so I had a backup level dot dat uh, that we just used. And so I hope people feel okay about the items that I just, you know, cheated in basically to get back the items that I lost from the previous episode. And I'm glad it was only the level dot dat file and not all the world progress and the biome progress because it took, even if the episode was only half an hour, it probably took an hour or two uh, to go all the way out to that mushroom biome and uh, find that stuff and do that exploring. It looks like there's a way... Yeah, I think I can go here. I think I can walk across here. And then walk across here and continue heading farther to the north. Did I not get turned around? Yes, we're still headed to the north. So we're going to try to explore to the north. And yeah, I hope everybody feels okay in terms of the way that I tried to rectify things. Since then, since Exploration and Tactics, like episode 30 or something, I don't think I've ever had like a game crash to where... I couldn't then, you know, reopen my Minecraft save. Um, this is the first time my level dot dat I think has ever like just completely disappeared, and so I'm kind of surprised. Uh, it seems very unlikely. Like I looked at the, I published the crash report to Mojang, uh, and I was like looking at the exception, uh, and I think it said something about like decoration had already been done. I know in terms of the terrain generator, uh, decoration, it's kind of like one of the steps uh, in the terrain generator. I think that does does things like um, putting putting ground clutter like and trees and foliage and pumpkins and different things on top of the world, I think. And I think maybe in like the end, like it does like the end pillars and end crystals when it's populating that terrain. I don't know exactly. It's been a while since I've taken a look. I think it's one of the options in the custom terrain settings if you do like super flat stuff. Um, but yeah, it's the type of thing that there should be definitely exception handlers for and while it's definitely the case that software is complicated and you can't account for every crash like it seems very unusual that my level dot dat uh, was simply not there it seems like whatever exception handlers uh should have been there should at least you know save out a copy of the level dot dat even if it's not completely up to date and so that was that was a very strange thing in my opinion uh but it's the first time i've seen minecraft do that in a long long time and so we'll hope that it was just like a you know strange out of the blue thing that's not going to happen again and this is not a result of 1.8.1 uh, it appears it's about to turn nighttime and so i've been rambling on this topic for long enough so i'm gonna hop off the horse throw down a bed sleep away the night and in the morning we'll talk about some more fun things Woohoo! so while we are exploring uh, somewhat flob-like, I thought it would be fun to get questions, to do a question and answer session. And so earlier today, I made a tweet where I asked people to tweet questions at me that I would talk about in a future Exploration and Tactics episode. And so I'm going to do that now. Once I figure out how to cross this river... <laughs> All right, looks like we can just use some blocks over here. So I will do exactly that. Uh, the first question is from... Archaean Dragon, who asks, since you're a Dr. Brian, what are you doing with that powerhouse brain of yours? And apparently I'm using it in order to figure out decent ways to recover from Minecraft crashes. No, we're not going to talk about that anymore. Um, not a lot. Um, yes. I have... <laughs> I don't know. I have a PhD in computer science, and what am I using it for? Uh, really nothing at this point. Um, for lounging around all day and watching Minecraft videos and playing Minecraft, apparently. Um, I guess Minecraft Bingo, like, definitely is a programming project of sorts. Ooh, there's another water temple! Do you see that? Right over there is another water temple. I'm gonna hit F3, just so we know the coordinates of this guy, in case we want it again later. Uh, this one's really close to land, and so if I actually got some potions, this would be possibly a good one to try to assault uh, at some point in the future, if I do decide to do that. Um, what are the chances? Kind of worried about uh, whether this is going to be another peninsula that's going to go nowhere, but I guess we'll go ahead and continue to explore. Let me go ahead and try to build another little bridge. Hope that my horse doesn't walk away from me. Don't try to get away, horse! I just summoned you into this world. I could unsummon you as well. 
Oh, he's trying to get away. Uh, I can't right-click on him from here. I have ladders. It is, after all, space barred. So I cannot jump or swim. There we go. But I can use ladders in order to climb up the train when I'm not riding a horse. So yeah, really, uh, I guess Minecraft Bingo is one of the few things I've done recently that kind of is programming-like to take advantage of uh, my, I don't know, education and brain power or something. But really, not a whole lot else. Um, I played uh, Dominion with a friend last night, and that's a fun kind of strategy board game. Okay, it does look like possibly there's a whole big ocean over here to the north. And so I think perhaps uh, the north here is turning to a dead end, and we will need to head back to the south in order to find other places to explore. We still haven't found the new biome types uh, that we need to find. And because we're looking for Cold Taiga and Mesa are kind of like two of the major major biomes that we've not yet found. So I'm going to head back to the south. Uh, so yeah, I don't know that I have a whole lot more to say about that. But thank you for your question, Arcane Dragon. And let's see. Since we're just going to be retraversing the same terrain I just went across, I'm going to go ahead and make a cut here. And we get the new terrain, I will continue on with more questions from Twitter. This looks like some new terrain, so let's continue. We are now heading to the south. The next question is from... The Stig fan who asks, what happened to the KGBs and Gleason? So the KGBs, you will recall, were Kurt, Steve, Schism, uh, Brian, and Gleason. And the four of us uh, put together uh, a team for Race for the Wool. We also played uh, Spellbound Caves together, did we? Um, and so we did a couple of things together. And yeah. We did a couple of things together and then kind of like moved on. Gleason, uh, Gleason was a young guy who was like in university in Australia at the time, I think. Um, and yeah, I think he just kind of like fell out of YouTube. I haven't talked to him in a long time. He had like gone away for a while and then he made a couple more videos uh, sometime like a year ago or something. And so I saw him and like commented on a video or two of his like back then. Uh, and then just kind of like disappeared off the face of the world again for a while. And I haven't tried to talk to him in a while. So I don't know what's up with Gleason. Steve Schism, uh, I haven't checked in on too recently. Um, but I've probably talked to him in the last year and occasionally done some stuff with him. And I think he's still making some Minecraft videos or some other funny videos. I haven't looked at his channel anytime too recently. Kurt, of course. Uh, is still, for the most part, doing his thing. The time that I'm recording this, still before Thanksgiving, and Kurt is still is still headed to the south, yes. Still on his hiatus. Uh, the speculation I've seen uh, is that he's moving, and so hopefully once he gets resettled, uh, we will start seeing some videos from him once again. Uh, and yeah, he and I have collaborated more recently. Uh, I think we played some Minecraft bingo back when 2.3 or 2.4 like first came out. Um, played together, and yeah, but I don't know. Maybe one of these days we'll get the old band back together again for something. Uh, at some point, I'd have to talk to some of these guys. Obviously, I'm about to go away on winter holidays, uh, and so that probably wouldn't happen until a long ways into the year, but thank you for the question, uh, the Stig fan. The next question comes from the Eocene, who asks... How much of a sense of nostalgia do you get when you look back on old videos? And it doesn't say whether they're my old videos or other people's old videos, and so I guess I can answer it both ways. I guess at the beginning of this episode I was talking about the fact that you can go back and take a look at my original Exploration and Tactics series, and which I guess I don't know that I've done it too recently myself. Hey, more crazy forest fires. Um, but I have done it from time to time, and... I don't know that I'm terribly nostalgic uh, about old Minecraft, per se. Uh, kind of like looking at old Minecraft videos. And I'm definitely not nostalgic about kind of like my own videos, because I think my voice didn't have as much character back then. It's the typical kind of thing when people first start their videos. Uh, their voices are a little bit uh, quieter and more hesitant, and there's less kind of variability and kind of like tone of speech. It's very hard to get used to the idea of speaking to no one uh, until you've done it for a while with practice when there's no one else in the room, uh, but you still want to 
you know, convey emotion and uh, have things be interesting and exciting uh, as they are. Because it's just very easy to be, you know, just seated in a chair and you're not moving for a long period of time while you're recording videos. Uh, it's very easy to get monotone. And so that is one thing I notice when I go back and look at some of my old videos. Uh, sometimes the intros are good because like the first five seconds you sit down, it's like, OK, I've got energy. We're doing something new and exciting. And then you get five or ten minutes into the video. and It's like, OK, we're caving. Hey, look, there's a skeleton, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and it just just doesn't sound too exciting. Uh, and also I had my old headset microphone and so poor quality kind of stuff. Um, so I don't know that I get, yeah, nostalgic really for that, but I'm also not the type of person who is particularly nostalgic for anything. I live very much in the present, uh, and so I don't think a whole lot about the past uh, or the future. Uh, it looks like it's going to be more difficult terrain over here, so I'm going to head a little bit this way so that we can get back into the plains, hopefully. Um, that said, it is still the case that I watch a lot of old videos. I have a real... Uh, I don't know, enjoyment of rewatching Zisto's old series. Uh, so he has some old Minecraft series of uh, Survival Island and Kaizo Caverns and Legendary that are back from the Minecraft beta days that I enjoy watching, rewatching, uh, as well as his. Hey, there's a new biome that we need to find, as well as Zisto's uh, original Terraria series. Uh, I find them very relaxing videos to have on uh, at night when I'm about to go to bed. Like if I'm in bed and I just, you know, I'm not ready to go to sleep and I don't feel like reading or whatever. I can just kind of like leave the video on and kind of listen to it. All right, we are going to sleep away the night. Like so. Pick up the bed once again, get back on the horse and explore a new biome. F3, desert turns to Mesa. All right, another biome checked off. And there's actually, this is something that I meant to do. There's actually a variety of different Mesa biomes that we need to find. There's like Mesa, Mesa Plateau, and Mesa Plateau F, I think. Oh, here, Mesa Plateau F. Great. Okay, so we found one of those. And the F, I thought the F maybe meant like forest or something, but I don't see any trees on top of this Mesa Plateau. Um... Yeah, there's, there's a bunch of different Mesa biomes. There's like Bryce Canyon or whatever, which is very rare. Uh, but you don't actually need that one. There's only 36 biomes that you need to get for the achievement for exploring all the biomes. Uh, I wonder if we get up onto the treed areas over here that also I think have like the coarse dirt or whatever, if it'll be a different biome. So I'm going to try to get over there, assuming I can. This might become... Oh boy, very difficult terrain to traverse. Uh, this is still Mesa Plateau F. Um, yes, let's take a risk and try to go down here carefully and not kill me or my horse from fall damage. All right, I definitely wouldn't die of fall damage from right here, and I think... Oh, it's going to be really hard to get back up this steep hill, though. Yeah, I might have actually already kind of screwed myself here. Uh, we might be kind of stuck down in this river canyon unless I can find a less steep slope and so hmm all right i'll try to navigate around where are we right now just normal mesa again mesas are very cool looking uh it looks like it might be a little bit shallower over here if i could get over there but i'd have to cross the water can i cross the water right over here looks like i probably can so if i do this can i keep the horse so oh boy on land stay on land stay on land good 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 All right. Yeah, this looks better. And it looks like I can climb up over here and it's not as steep. And am I still going to the south? Yes. Let's try to keep on pushing through the south. In any case, I was talking about the biomes. So in terms of using my uh, programmer brain, PhD in computer science brain, um, one of the things I've done is I've, oops, ouch, sorry, horse, written a little program that actually shows all the biomes you need for the achievement. Uh, and which biomes I've already traversed. And so now that we just added the Mesa, let me go and actually I'll stop the game and rerun that and then like put it up on the screen uh, over here. Yeah, I think that'll be a good thing to do. Um, yeah, so I'll be right back. All right, so assuming I've done my video editing correctly, uh, we now have on the screen 
a list of the biomes that one needs to get for the achievement, as well as kind of like little check marks next to the ones that I've already managed to get. And apparently we, somewhere along here, also passed through a Mesa Plateau. Uh, I'm back in just Mesa right now, uh, but that one seems to be checked off already. Basically in your stats folder, uh, in your Minecraft world save file, there's a file with your UUID uh, .json uh, that saves your achievement info. Uh, and basically there's an achievement called Explore All Biomes. Um, and it just keeps a list of all the biomes that you've managed to explore. I don't know that I can get across this on the horse. Um, I might fall off the horse, but let's take a risk and see if we can get across here. Nope, I fell off the horse, but I think I can right-click on him again and possibly get him to go slightly more in the direction I need him to go, maybe? Is he gonna just by his own nature try to get over here? Yes, hey, great, awesome. So I managed to get across here. So yeah, I don't know how long I left that on the screen. Uh, future Brian will have to do some good video editing there. But that shows us that basically the only biomes we need left are kind of like Cold Taiga, Cold Beach stuff and Frozen River, Ice Mountains and Ice Plains uh, in order to get the achievement. And so once we've visited all those biomes, uh, then we should get the achievement of Adventuring Time, which is what we are doing, spending time adventuring right now. And I think at this point I need to check on the time for this video. So let me make a cut and see where we're at. Yeah, I have a feeling that'll be a good point to go ahead and cut things off for today. And so in the next episode, we will continue to explore and I will continue to answer the questions I've been getting on Twitter. Thanks everybody who's been asking questions and saw my tweet, uh, at Lorgon111, if you want to follow me on Twitter, if you, are, if you are the type of person who has a Twitter and likes to follow people. And yeah, until then, I hope that you guys are having a great day, and I will see you again soon with more Minecraft Exploration and Tactics Space Bard, where we are trying to get the final achievement in order to complete our particular goal journey on this little expedition. See you guys later. Bye-bye.